Hey everyone, Jess and Al from the Psych Collective. Jess O'Gar, clinical psychologist. Al Griscade, psychiatrist. And this is part three of our trauma series talk. And for the last one today, we're going to talk about having an understanding of the root causes that contribute to trauma, which can help facilitate getting an understanding of meaning and ultimately looking for if there is a lesson to learn from the trauma experience. Yeah, okay, so Al and I came up with this matrix uh, a while ago now, so you might have seen it. We've reworked it slightly at the top, but basically what it's looking at is the idea that there's stuff that ha will happen that contributes to a traumatic event occurring. So the, the event itself, right? And most of the time we've kind of figured out that they're multimodal. So often there is the role that I play in the part of the traumatic event occurring, and then there's kind of the role of either the environment or the other people involved also in the traumatic event and kind of how they participated in it. Yeah, that's yeah. right. It's not it's it's not always one thing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, sometimes it can Occasionally. be. Occasionally. Okay. Yeah, sometimes it can be, but but more often than not when you actually when you dig into what's going on in a given trauma event, you can find different elements, yeah. okay, um, which are if you like root causes in their own right. Yeah. So from this matrix, we've got either inaction, so something didn't happen that should have, or there was action, something happened that shouldn't have happened. And then we've got it against unintentional, so they didn't mean it, or intentional, it was deliberate, right? So what happens if, if something didn't happen, but we didn't know that it was supposed to happen, we get neglect. Whereas if something didn't happen, but it was deliberate, we knew that something should have happened and we chose not to, then that's negligence. Okay. Whereas over here, we've got something happened, but it wasn't intentional. This can just be randomness, like natural disaster. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Whereas if you've got action that was meant, then we've got intentional where someone was malevolent around causing harm or being violent. You can remember, I mean, this is like action intentional in a trauma instance, then that's why we're saying it's malevolence. Yeah. Because if it's trauma, I don't kind of, by definition, something bad happened. Yeah, it's worth, I mean, just for those who don't know, the term malevolence is basically when um, the situation where someone does something deliberately to hurt you and they know that that's, they that's, that's their goal kind of yeah, thing. So yeah, so that's that's yeah. why we're saying it's intentional that they took the action to get the malevolence. Yeah. So let's give an example, okay? Right. I've got one. Yeah. I've got one. Okay, so um, about oh, 10 years ago or so, um, I was a medical student down at Orange, which is a uh, rural town in New South Wales. And um, I was out having a few drinks or whatever as you do when you're a medical student. And um, I was walking home that night uh, by myself. And I wasn't pissed or anything, I just you know, had a few drinks. And um, looking down the main road, big wide main road, there were these five guys, okay? And they were, you know, looked like they were up to no good. And um, they were directly in the path that I had to go to get back to my accommodation. And um, I kind of had this thought to myself, well, I could, uh, I'll cross the road and avoid them that way. I could walk around the long block, um, but screw that, you know, like this is Australia. Uh, I've walked down many dodgy streets in my life. I'm in orange for Pete's sake, you know, come on, I can walk down whatever road I please. Um, anyway, so I did cross the road and, and I was walking down the road and I could hear some kerfuffle behind me. So I thought they were further behind me than I thought. And the next thing I know, I got sort of beaten from behind and that, a big scuffle ensued and uh, it was um, quite traumatizing. Um, it was, um, yeah, anyway, I, I managed to okay. sort of survive that situation, yeah. okay? And, yeah, and things we got out of that. Yeah. But, so, yeah, so let's, let's, let's kind of root cause it. Yeah, okay, so action on their part is actually kind of pretty obvious. They took action, it was intentional, we're right here. Yeah. Okay, so the, their action in terms of assaulting you is here. Yeah. But what part did you play? Well, this is the thing. So it did. It took me a while to realise that I was kind of responsible for this too, in a way. Okay, because of this. Okay, it wasn't their negligence? It was my negligence. It was my self negligence. Okay, so, you know, in, again, there was, you know, it wasn't looking like these were nice dudes. You know, like there was every every kind of appearance that there may well be malevolence here. Five to one. What am I going to do? I didn't actually take care of myself in this instance. Okay, I could have yeah. walked the extra kilometre or not even that probably, okay, yeah. and come home completely unscathed, all right? Um, but I was negligent to myself, okay? And so that's what ensued. There were two parts to this trauma yeah. event, okay? And if you like, this is the more worrying one. This is the one that undid me in a way. I mean, there's malevolence all over the shop. There is. Okay? But if you're self-negligent to the malevolence, then you're, then you're open to it. And I think kind of where you eventually got to as we discussed this is that you realise that you 
not not so much kind of knowingly put yourself in harm's way, but you recognise that there was a potential for harm. Well, this was chose pride. To, I was, yeah. Uh, yeah, this yeah. was like hubris, essentially. Right? And I thought, oh, I'm, I'm, you know, big, tough Big, tough and strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can, I can do this, all right? So, so if you like, so that they're the root causes, yeah. all right? And, but the meaning that I, or well, the lesson that I derived from understanding that is, well, don't be a dickhead, okay? <laughs> so five, five, would be, five would be your silence. Be... Yeah, cover yourself, okay? Don't be self-negligent. Don't let pride put you in harm's way. Yeah. That was my lesson. Yeah. Okay? okay. And a valuable lesson. And so far, so good since then. Yeah, yeah. good. Okay. So my one's completely different. Mine was, uh, kind of the one that comes to mind for this was, I was on my way to work. I was 34 weeks pregnant and got rear-ended. So I was fine. Baby was fine. So that's all okay. Um, so motor vehicle accident. Motor vehicle yeah. accident. So I stopped at the giveaway sign and the guy behind me didn't stop. Okay, so from his point of view, his was actually neglect. So he failed to take action in that he failed to apply the brake mm -hmm. within a sta safe stopping distance, but he didn't mean to do it. Mm -hmm. So his was negligence. If he'd been speeding sorry, on his ne phone, sorry, neglect, yeah. thank you, neglect. If he had been speeding, using his phone, uh, maybe under the influence of something, then we could say that it was negligence because he was knowingly taking a risk yeah, he was um, in, in, intentionally being more um, careless yeah, yes, than, than yeah. he should have been. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Whereas for my part in that, it was randomness. Kind of, I was simply in the wrong place at the wrong time. Yeah. So my lesson from that was actually it was not my fault, and there was nothing that I could have done differently to prevent that from happening. And sometimes that is a really important part of the trauma particularly when people get into kind of cognitive distortions around blame and assign responsibility to themselves for the actions of others. If you didn't kind of intentionally or knowingly engage in something and something happened to you um, that shouldn't have, but you didn't know about it or you weren't prepared for it, then sometimes it is simply randomness and there is no fault in ourselves on that. The fault was on him, but fortunately it was a kind of mild accident and, and mm -hmm. the people were okay. So the neglecting with the randomness, this was one that because I could come to the sense of it wasn't my fault and we're okay, then this one I was able to kind of integrate and move on from. Yeah, so there wasn't it wasn't like you had to learn a lesson about I had to do something differently or, or whatever. Yeah, no, there was no, no there was no kind of revelation that, that could have made you safe in the future. It was no. just that's just the way it goes. Yeah, that's just the way it goes. Assuming your brake lights were working and everything exactly, else. So I'm sure exactly. they were. Of course yeah, they were. Of yeah. course they were. Had there yes, had there have been other things of I slammed my brakes on suddenly because I wasn't paying attention. Because you were looking at your phone. Or if yeah. I was looking at my phone, then yeah. that would be kind of self-negligence yeah. and things like that. But because, generally speaking, I was doing everything right. Yeah. I had stopped at a giveaway sign. The guy behind me didn't. Then we're looking at these two. Okay. So what do we need? We need to recap this. So the, the four essential types. Yep. Root causes, shall we root say. Root causes of trauma, okay. of trauma. Neglect, negligence, randomness, and malevolence. Trauma is usually multimodal, so there's usually kind of two, maybe sometimes more, sometimes, but yeah. I think you and I have usually found two things that will contribute to it, and that once you have an understanding of the kind of root causes, it can help to infer meaning. From that, you can see what the lesson is, and it can help people to integrate the trauma and be able to become unstuck from the experience. That's why we do it. Okay. okay. Facebook, Instagram, hit the subscribe button on YouTube. Check out the website. We'll, we've got this matrix up um, and we'll get, well, the old one's up. And we've changed the title. We'll rework it. We'll yeah. get that up soon. Um, and check us out for more stuff on the website. Thanks, guys. Thanks, See guys. ya.